Hi boys and girls, Miss Heather here. Hope you're all doing well. For today's class, we have a fun experiment where you guys will be making your own homemade Play-Doh. Here are the ingredients. You'll need some flour, salt, hot water, food coloring, and vegetable oil. Let's get started. So for our first step is you'll need some hot water. Have mom or dad help you. I'm adding half a cup of water to my pot and I'm going to add my food coloring. A few drops of blue. And I'm gonna put in a drop of green. I wanna have nice, bright Play-Doh. Now, I'm going, now in a separate, now in a separate bowl, I'm going to have one cup of flour. And you're gonna need a little extra flour too when we have to knead the dough. One cup of flour and a quarter cup of salt. Mix that around. Well, once the water is hot, you're going to add it in and then mix really well. Last ingredient is two tablespoons of oil. Mix everything really well. So now, when your dough starts to be able to form a nice ball, you can get a little more extra flour so it's not sticky. The dough is warm. You may want to let it cool off a little bit. And you just keep kneading it. And you should see you have some nice homemade non-toxic Play-Doh. And you can keep kneading it until it's all blended in nicely. If it feels a little sticky, a little too sticky, you can always sprinkle on a little bit of flour. If you have some cookie cutters, you can use them and make some fun shapes with your dough. Thanks, have a great week guys. When you're ready to store your dough, use a Ziploc baggie, put the dough inside the baggie, and then I would also, to make sure it stays fresh, put it inside a plastic container. And have fun! In the news, I have an article all about the Arctic. The Arctic is a region that makes up the far north of our planet. It's emerged from its long winter night, 
snow has started to melt and the sea ice that covers the Arctic Ocean will begin to melt and shrink too. The freeze and melt pattern of the Arctic has long been the norm, but climate change is now altering things. Much of the ice that used to last even through the summer is now disappearing and soon may disappear altogether. Erosion is threatening Arctic communities like the polar bears and seals, and scientists worry about what may happen as long frozen soil called permafrost continues to thaw. Scientists are studying more than just climate change in the Arctic. They're tracking polar bears and other iconic species. They're studying what habitat freshwater fish prefer, and they're taking a look at the activity of what lives in the 24-7 darkness of the Arctic Sea in the middle of winter.